Okay, in this video, we're going to pull together all the techniques that we've learned. We're going to remove this person. We're going to remove these signs, this little yellow thing. We're going to duplicate this bird and put a mirror of that bird over here on this post. We're going to remove this person again, but we're leaving the shadow. All right, let's get started. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a like it. I like to hit Command or Control J when I'm starting out on a big project like this, so I'm never working on the background layer. See, I duplicated the layer in the background. So I can always come back and see where I started. Now let's start with the easy stuff. I'd go to the spot healing brush tool right here and I'm gonna get rid of that yellow thing because my, my, my eye wants to go towards it. I'm gonna hold down the command and space bar to temporarily activate the magnification tool and click and drag space bar only to move around because I want to get rid of this. I'm still gonna use the spot healing brush tool. Left bracket key to make it a little smaller and I'm just gonna paint right over that sign and let Photoshop figure it out. Didn't do a bad job. Hold the space bar and pan over. Sometimes you might have to make a couple of passes. Yeah, look at that, it kept that line sharp and crisp. All right, so now let's start getting rid of this guy. Now here's the thing with this one, command minus just to shrink this out a little bit, space bar. Now we know that I can come over here and grab the object selection tool. Let's say I just drag over the person. You know, it's not doing a bad job. I'll try to go to select, modify, and expand by 20 pixels. I'm gonna hit M for the marquee tool, hold down my alter option key, and say, don't bother with everything below this. I'll fix that myself. And then I'm gonna right click and say content to wear fill. And look over here, I don't need to change a lot. It didn't get this part too well, that's okay. I'm just gonna click okay. I think it did a decent job. Command D to deselect. Look at that. I mean, it's a tiny bit blurry right here, a little bit right here. But we know we can come over to the clone stamp tool, select it, hold down the alter option key to get a bullseye. And I'm gonna click there and I'm gonna say, yeah, just paint right here. It's not doing a lot because look up there. My opacity is only 30%. If I hit zero to go back to 100, I think I want 100 for this because I really want to get rid of that little soft blurry patch. I'll do that. Option click there. I think his head was up here. So I'll camouflage that. Didn't do a great job with that line. Not a horrible job, but it's not a great job. Let's see if I could do better just by option clicking on the horizon line, coming over and see, I get a preview of whatever I'm about to paint. So I'm, I'm gonna see if I can paint a straighter horizon line than what it did. Yeah, I think I like that better. So now let's come down to the water area. I'm gonna Click on this side. Hmm, those tones are lighter. That's not working. Just come back from this side. Make my brush a little smaller. Now here's the thing. This is where it's going to get a little tricky. I think I'm going to actually try to get right here. And see if I can... I'm getting where these two boards intersect. And see how that looks. I'm going to come over here. Option click. Option click on that little part right there. See, the lines aren't ma matching up. There's ways, sophisticated ways you can fix this, but this is a beginning thing, so I'm not going to get into the specifics of that part. Click over here. You see how I'm going from one side to the other? Usually that helps it blend in a little better. And if I hit 6 for 60% opacity, just to make this a little darker, something like that, a couple of passes, and maybe I'll come from this side. Hit 3 for 30% with a softer brush. Command 0. To and look at that, we've gotten rid of the guy. Now we need to copy this bird. All right, so let's go back to the layer that has the bird, okay? Okay, so I wanna copy this bird. Probably gonna do it quick and dirty to start with. I'm just gonna grab the rectangular marquee tool right here, make a selection around the bird and get a top of the post. And I'm making sure that I'm on the layer that has the bird. Hit Command or Control J. I hold down the Alt or Option key and click on that eyeball. It turns off all other eyeballs on the layers panel. Let's me see what I got. I got just the bird. Click again to bring it back. Now I hit V for the move tool and just drag the bird over here. Hmm. Notice how the metal and the wood aren't lining up. The dark's on the left side instead of the right side. So I'm gonna hit Command or Control T, which is free transform. You can find it up here at edit down to free transform. It'll put a bounding box around the selection, right click and choose flip horizontal. And that just flipped my bird horizontal. And now I can move the bird to wherever it lines up. Command spacebar to zoom in so I can see what's going on. Spacebar only. 
Ah, oh, look at that. I don't know why, but that post is a little blurry. But the post on the other side is kind of sharp. So we're going to need to blur this up a little bit. I'm going to try to move this where it most lines up. So it's not perfect here, but that's as good as I can get it for now. I'm going to hit Enter to lock it down. I'm going to add a layer mask. And I'm going to see how much of this I can just do by painting. So I hit B for the brush and hit X because I need black in my foreground in order to paint on a white mask. Look at my tool options bar. I'm at normal and 100%. And I'm just going to paint on my mask, which is going to hide. Remember, white reveals, black conceals. Hit X because I painted too far. X again so I can continue painting this part out. Left bracket key to make my brush a lot smaller, which would be more accurate. And I'm going to paint this real quick. Six and a half hours later. Here I'm painting with a lower opacity of like 30% to try and blend the top post with the post below it. So I really want to hide that sharp line. Six for 60%, five for 50%. Just try to, just try to camouflage it. Okay, once I'm done, remember, command minus, see how blurry this post is? I need to make this bird a little blurry. So I'm gonna select the bird, go up to filter, down to blur, and I'll just choose Gaussian blur for a very quick blur. That's a touch too much blur. So pull this radius down until it looks believable. That's still too blurry, I think. Just a subtle blur, something like that, not even a pixel, maybe a whole pixel, 1.1 pixels. It's going to be so small, it won't really matter, but I want you to really pay attention to those details. Command zero to fit in screen. Now, what else have we learned to do? Let's add a vibrance. Pull up the muted colors, saturated it a bit. Do we want to add a black and white adjustment layer? Maybe. Maybe let's add a blend mode to that black and white adjustment layer, like overlay. Soft light. It gives it a really unique look, makes the pier look a lot wetter. If you hover over the blend modes, it does them. Real quickly, the first word in each group tells you what it does. So everything in here darkens one layer to the next. Everything here lightens one layer to the next. And then they vary by degree. Overlay is a term for contrast. So this boosts the contrast and color saturation of all the ones in here. So for me, I think I like soft light the best turn it on and off see how powerful it is well i like it on the pier but not on anything else so what i'm going to do is this mask i'm going to click it go to the properties area and invert it well i need to turn it back on and what that did is that hid that mask so we can't see anything that's doing but watch what happens when i hit b for the brush I look over and I hit X to bring white back to my foreground, tap the right bracket key, hold it down, it'll grow fast. And I just paint over the pier itself. Remember your eye is gonna to go to the brightest part of an image. So I just made the pier the brightest part of this image so that it really goes to it. Now I can add another black and white adjustment layer. And this time just lower the opacity. That's another way to mute the colors if you wanted to. Or do I like it black and white? You know, it has a lot of interest either way. So I'm just going to click and drag this layer to the trash. I'm going to leave it in color. And I think we should crop it to a pano. So grab the crop, clear it if you've got anything preset up, right? And minus. So I think I want this to be a pano, as in I want it to be kind of long and skinny. But I want to keep the, sh the reflection totally there. Maybe something like this. Very symmetrical. I like that. Click Enter. Command Zero. Yeah, save that for your project. Uh-oh, what do you see? See this little red thing? Don't know what it is, but I'm going to have to get rid of it. And if you ever get confused, like you don't know what layer something is on. Wait, there's a bonus tip. If you're on your very top layer, my favorite keyboard shortcut is Command Option Shift Letter E. That's Control Alt Shift Letter E for Windows users. It compresses every layer you have, whether it's 5, 50, or a couple thousand, onto the very top layer. So you know what you're working with. So I know if I grab the spot healing brush, I can paint over that, get rid of it, Command Zero to fill the screen again. That's my image. I would go up to File, Save As, it automatically changed it to a PSD file, which is perfect because it's got layers. I'm gonna click save and I'm done.
If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. Huh. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> Hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here. <laughs>